Raiders on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Oh, they dolled up Obamacare. They said there weren't any death panels. It didn't ration care. It didn't kick pre-existing condition folks off. You could keep your doctor firm pledge. It would lower your premium to the cost of a phone bill or cable bill. I don't know, maybe for a whole hotel. And uh, mine has doubled uh, in the last, since it went in six months ago. Geraldo Rivera was on the show a few months ago. His has tripled, and for that of all of his six employees, tripled. Uh, and uh, my dad's has more than doubled. And everyone I know, it's at least doubled. Because some, some it's only gone up 45, 50, 60 percent. But most people, it's more than doubled. So if you average it, it's about a doubling, to be technical. And that's just year one. I mean, this is just going to get better and better. And the reason I raised that is they said, hey, if you don't like Obamacare, you're racist on MSNBC and CNN. And there are no death panels and none of this is true. We, we had the bill. And now Obama acts as a dictator implementing what he wants, where he wants. Oh, unions, you're exempt, but not families. That's the ultimate form of discrimination. While they're talking about discrimination, we don't like it because he's black. Let me tell you, I'd vote for a black man in about half a second if he was like Ron Paul. I could care. I'd love it. It'd be even better because then they couldn't attack him as much. But they, but they would, though. They, it, it wouldn't work if they were libertarian or conservative. 
It is so disgusting what Obama said two weeks ago uh, in a Time Magazine interview and was other in the New Yorker, similar things that, well, my poll numbers are down because of racism. What? What? And I, I'm ranting. We got Phyllis Shafley with us of eagleforum.org. And Ms. Shafley is, is like one of the icons of true conservatism in this country, best-selling author, constitutional lawyer. Getting into amnesty, how do we beat it? Where is it? But then we go to the next problem. As you know, your best-selling book's out about it. Doesn't matter. Obama is just legalizing a bunch of the illegals, ordering the courts to let people go in the, in the amnesty courts. He's just doing it by executive fiat to begin with. So where's the Republican leadership beginning impeachment of the president turning the office into a dictatorship? Well, I hope you saw him on your, your television screen when he said he had a pen, has a pen, and he can do whatever he wants to do. And a telephone. And it is. And uh, it was so arrogant. It was so condescending to Americans. It was embarrassing if we think we're a self-governing people. And he has changed his own law, Obamacare, I think personally, unilaterally, about 30 times. And uh, it, and he just wants to do whatever he wants uh, to uh, get the Democrats reelected. And I think the only way we can save our country is to elect a majority of conservatives to the U.S. Uh, Senate in November and get the right guys nominated in the primary. And it, it, it is so important because, for example, if Obama gets another appointment to the Supreme Court, uh, he would rule the country with his nutty ideas for the next 50 years. And, <clears throat> and we cannot afford that. We need to have enough uh, senators to stand up and say, we're not going to give him any more judges, because some of these, I call them supremacist judges, uh, are as bad as uh, Obama in trying to uh, remake the law and dictate to the American people. You, you've been fighting this tyranny for 60-plus years as a constitutional lawyer, but... I've studied political elites, I've studied history. Even if you were a corrupt elite, America and prosperity is incredibly profitable. You would rather skim off the top of that big large yes than destroy it and debase it all so you can run it. But tyrants always debilitate everything because they hate individual freedom and they jealously want to shut it down, thus destroying the engine of their own success. But I, I want to warn the political elite, including the Democrats, you are literally burning down your own house. You guys run the country now, and you have such a long-term hatred of men and of families and of women and of prosperity and of just uprightness. I mean, I've, I've really studied these people, and now I've come around to the understanding that they really do want to screw stuff up. They really are, like Michael Savage said, I think mentally ill. Uh, if you disagree with that, tell me, uh, Phyllis, but, I mean, you've been fighting these people for a long time. What is wrong with them? Well, they want power, and they think the way they would get power is to make the America, American workforce be in competition uh, with the people in the rest of the world. You know, a lot of our products are starting to come from Vietnam, uh, where they work for 28 cents an hour. And I do not think Americans should have to be in competition with people like that. We have clearly a better system, a unique system, a prosperous system, a successful system. That's why everybody wants to come here. And uh, we should let in only people who uh, like our country, obey our laws. Like uh, Switzerland. I mean, I mean, you could have $10 million. They won't let you in unless you have a skill you're bringing. Switzerland, their money only goes up in value, their crime only goes down, they get better and better and better. Why don't we do what Switzerland did? That's right, and they just voted down this increased immigration. And that's why they've been able to keep a, a free and prosperous country, and we should do the same. But the trouble is the, the, the media is so, so much in favor of Obama, no matter what he does. Uh, they, they, they try to uh, ruin anybody who criticizes them. But Americans have got to speak up. We have a great country. We need to not let anybody in except somebody who wants to honor our country, our flag, our Constitution. And we don't, and you know, the polls are showing, Alex, uh, that the majority of these people coming in think international law should top our Constitution. you got to be kidding. We're not. You and I are not going to let international law trump our Constitution. 
That's right, and you have all the polls listed uh, there from uh, the Pew Research, you name it. There's a whole... Yes, all the ones that everybody else quotes, only they don't seem to quote the part about uh, what they believe on amnesty. But all the, the polls are, are consistent in saying that the overwhelming majority of people coming in uh, want bigger government handing out more services. It's basically like a beautiful ship that's not perfect, but it's the best out there, and you've always envied it, and you finally got on board, and then the Democrats hand, hand you a dynamite to put in the bottom of the ship to sink it, and then you dynamite the ship, and you're sinking, and you're like, I won, I brought down America, instead of just joining with America. I, I, it's, there is a real hatred of this country, and I'm yeah, sick of there it. there is. There is a hatred of this country, and there's a hatred of the institution of marriage, too. Uh, which I hope I have a new book out on. Yeah, let's segue into that. Let's segue into the attack on religion, the attack on marriage, Obama's... Well, my last book is, <laughs> is uh, 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 No Higher Power, Obama's War on Religious Freedom. And you can see that everywhere, the people who want to be politically correct. Uh, even the military has done some things like clamping down on, on prayers and the, and the oath to serve God and country, so help me God. And, uh, and the superintendents of the of the public schools are, well, they're going after little kids, won't let them mention Jesus or sing a Christmas carol. And, or bring a Christmas card, even though everybody else is allowed to do whatever they want. Yeah. And uh, it's a real war on the First Amendment. Obama's idea about uh, the First Amendment is you should have the right to go into your church and lock the door and say a prayer where nobody can hear you. And that'll be okay. He's not going to take that away from you. And by the way, for those that don't know, um, the First Amendment says Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. It means you don't have a state-run religion, but you could absolutely come to school and you can hand out Christmas cards, you can hand out Muslim material during the lunch break, you can hand out atheist material. As a valedictorian, you can give whatever speech you want and thank God. As a football player, you can, and they know that, and they are persecuting people where they find Bibles in people's bags in, in public school in Texas and, quote, throw them in the trash and suspend them. This is outrageous authoritarianism. And, of course, the Founding Fathers and all presidents prior to Obama uh, were quoting their faith and their belief in God all the time, honoring the National Day of Prayer. Uh, for example, when uh, Obama gives a Thanksgiving Day address, he makes a whole long list of people to thank, but God didn't make the cut. And he's just trying to eliminate any public mention of God. And our, our country was built on people believing in God and being religious people and people of faith. Why is it that the, the collectivist and Soviet types uh, hate God? Is it because they, obviously the state is God and they don't want any higher power above them? Yeah, that's right. They, they want the state to be in control of everything. And we don't. And we've got a proven best country. And that's why people want to come here. And, and it's... Uh, it's the most freedom. It's the most prosperity. And Obama has this nutty idea that it really isn't fair that the uh, United States uh, uh, has uh, so much good things of life and and uh, more prosperity than any other country and more power than other countries. And he wants to make everybody equal. And we don't want to be equal to all the poor countries. And we don't want our guys to have to compete with people making products in Vietnam who work for 28 cents an hour. Well, it's not fair trade when we have all the regulations and bureaucracy and shutting down our power plants, and they go to Vietnam with no regulations, dumping the toxic waste right in the river. And this is all about Cloward and Piven making us dependent. In closing, spend a few minutes on the attack on the family. It's so naked now, the attack on women, the attack on manhood. I mean, the uh, MSNBC, I'm sure you've seen their promo where they say, your kids now belong to the state. I mean, these people are really being naked about the, uh, their takeover. Why do you think that is? Oh, well, they, they're feeling that they've won, and they want to, want to sock it to us. And uh, the only way we can remain a free country is if parents are in control of their children, not the government. Uh, and if, if we are able to elect a congressman and representatives, who believe in limited government, lower taxes, and letting people spend their own money. 
and uh, instead of the government spending it. And uh, 